हेलो फ्रेंड्स आई वेलकम यू इन लेक्चर नंबर थर्टी एट ऑन बेसिक स्टेटिस्टिक्स इन प्रीवियस लेक्चर वी हैव सीन हाउ टू कंप्यूट रैंक को रिलेशन को ऑफिशेंट इफ रैंक्स आर गिवन टू गिवन टू वेरिएबल्स इन दिस लेक्चर वी विल सी हाउ टू कंप्यूट स्पीयर मैंस रैंक को रिलेशन को ऑफिशेंट वेन रैंक्स आर नॉट गिवन सो वी अंडरस्टैंड विद द हेल्प ऑफ दिस एग्जाम्पल कैलकुलेट स्पीयर मैंस रैंक को रिलेशन को ऑफिशेंट between advertisement cost and sales from the following data so here we have two attributes advertisement cost which is given in rupees thousands and sales which are given in rupees lakhs and we have to compute rank correlation coefficient between these two variables so here we are not given ranks we are given the advertisement cost in thousand rupees and uh, first we can count the number of items are 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 10 so here we have n equal to 10 items and suppose we denote the advertisement cost by capital x and sales we denote by capital y then we are given values of x and y we are not given the ranks so first we will assign the ranks to both the variables and then we will compute spear mens rank correlation coefficient now suppose i want to assign ranks to this variable capital x which is advertisement cost in 1000 rupees then i can assign the ranks in two ways i can assign the first rank to the highest value of x or i can assign the first rank to the lowest value of x so we can assign the ranks either in descending or ascending order but we have to remember that if we are assigning ranks to this variable in descending order we have to assign the ranks to another variable in descending order so either we can assign the ranks starting from highest value or we can assign the ranks starting from lowest value here we will use the ranks uh, using highest value so uh, first uh, i have uh, prepared this table here i have written the values of x and y and uh, here i have prepared two more columns for rank of x and rank of y then we will need this differences between ranks and then we will need d square so first we assign the ranks to the variable x which is advertisement cost so we can observe that highest value of x is 90 so this value is assigned as rank 1 90 is the highest value of advertisement cost so we give first rank to this item which is 90 then we search for second highest value or uh, we uh, ignore this 90 and out of remaining 9 items we find out the highest item but here you can observe that i have made the mistake highest value is 98 so i should give first rank to 98 so we should be careful while giving ranks now out of remaining 90 is the second highest value so here we can assign second rank 98 is highest value that we give rank 1 Nine zero is second highest value, so that is assigned rank two. Then we search for next highest value. So here we have eight, and uh, so I will get this as third highest value, that is given rank three. After that I search for seven here, so I have seventy five and seventy eight. So I will assign seventy eight fourth rank. after that again i observe values of x so this is the next highest value which i will give rank as 5 after that i check for remaining values so there are two values starting from 6 so 65 is greater than 62 so we have given ranks up to 5 so this is given rank as 6 then from remaining values 62 is highest so that will be given rank 7 now from remaining values i have 39 36 and 25 so
so 39 is highest among remaining values so that i will assign rank 8 then this 36 is assigned rank 9 and the last value 25 is assigned as 10th rank similarly we assign ranks to values of y so first we search for highest value of y here i have 4 5 8 and uh, this is starting with 9 so there is only one value starting with 9 so this is the highest value of y that will be ranked as first after that i again search for 8 here i have 86 and here i have 84 so 86 is greater than 84 so i give this rank 2 after that you can see 84 is at third rank then we look for 7 as first entry so there is no 7 so now we look for 6 so here we have 68 62 and 60 so this is given rank 4 after that we have 62 which is given rank 5 after that 60 is given as rank 6 then we search for 5 as first entry there are 3 entries starting with 5 among these 3 58 is bigger or highest so we can give it rank 7 after that 53 is ranked as 8 and 51 is ranked as 9 and uh, this last is given rank 10 so in this way if ranks are not given uh, we can assign ranks we can assign the highest value as first rank then next highest as second rank and so on uh, we can also start with lowest value but we will remember that if we are giving ranks starting from lowest value then we have to follow the same pattern for another variable also so either we can start from highest value or we can start from lowest value for both the variables here we have started from highest value or we have given ranks in descending order now we require the differences between ranks so it is easy to find the differences 8 minus 10 that is minus 2 6 minus 8 again minus 2 7 minus 7 0 2 minus 2 is 0 then 3 minus 5 is minus 2 5 minus 4 1 10 minus 6 is 4 1 minus 1 0 9 minus 9 is also 0 and 4 minus 3 is 1 let me write properly here 1 minus 1 is 0 so we can check whether these values are correct or not sum of all these values must be 0 so we can see here we have minus 2 3 times that is minus 6 and we can see if we sum these values positive values 1 plus 4 5 plus 6 so 6 minus 6 that is 0 so sum of all the differences is 0 that means we have correctly find out all these values here sigma d is 0 now we require square of all these values last column is square of differences square of minus 2 is 4 here square of 0 square of minus 2 is 4 and here square of 1 then square of 4 is 16 square of 0 is 0 square of 1 is 1 so we require sum of all these values here we have 3 times 4 that is 12 plus 1 13 and uh, we can find out 13 plus 17 so this is going to be 3 0 so sigma d square is 3 0 so we require sigma d square here ranks were not given we were given values of variables x and y so first we have given ranks to the values of x as well as y then we find out the differences between ranks and finally we obtain sigma d square as 30 okay, now we have ready-made formula for spearman's rank correlation coefficient so that we can use here 
okay i have to write here so now spearman's rank correlation coefficient spearman's rank correlation coefficient is this denoted by r suffix s equal to 1 minus 6 times sigma d square divided by n times n minus 1 and here we have seen that value of n is 10 there are 10 items so we will take n equal to 10 and sigma d square equal to 3 0 in this formula so i substitute sigma d square equal to 3 0 n is 10 so that n minus 1 will be 9 so we can see here we have 3 and uh, 6 into 3 that is 18 so we can see that spearman's rank correlation coefficient is minus 1 so in this way we can compute rank correlation coefficient if ranks are not given and uh, we know that value of uh, rank correlation coefficient always lies between minus 1 and 1 so if we obtain rank correlation coefficient as minus 1 that means there is a strong negative relationship between these two variables advertisement cost and sales okay so in this way uh, we can compute rank correlation coefficient if ranks are not given now in some situations it may happen that some values of x might be repeated or some values of y might be repeated suppose we are having 62 two times then we have two repeated items for x so in that case we have to modify this formula for spearman's rank correlation coefficient that we will discuss in next lecture so i hope you like this lecture thank you